is breakfast to you the most important meal? Um, like, what is your take on that? I hear a lot of different people like, oh, you don't have to have breakfast. Um, so, good question. Good, good question. Uh, short answer is no. It's not the most important meal. Okay. I think it depends, again, on your goals and your lifestyle. So, here's what I mean by that. I, with some of my clients, because I work with people who have a lot of unique schedules, mm -hmm. traveling, up at weird hours, all that sort of thing. I will sometimes incorporate what's called intermittent fasting, right? Which you kind of alluded to with your water fast in the mornings, we would just drink water. Well, it's basically a period of time where you don't eat, an extended period of time, anywhere from 12 to 20 hours where you're not eating. And then you eat all your calories in a smaller window. Okay. And so I personally do this as well, mainly because what I noticed with it is it has changed my relationship with food. I think a lot of people mistakenly believe that hunger is an emergency. Mm -hmm. That's hunger true. is not an emergency. That's deep. I like that. I like how you put that. Right? And so when I do my personal fast, which is twice a week, the days I'm not in the gym, I will fast anywhere from 16 to 20 hours. And I basically means I skip breakfast. I stop eating at 9 p.m. and I won't eat till 1, between 1 and 4 p.m. the next day. Wow. wow. And so for that, a lot of my times my clients who are following a similar protocol because it works with their lifestyle, they are also skipping breakfast. So it really comes down to what are the goals? Is the goal weight loss and fat loss? Then it comes down to throughout the course of the entire day, are you eating less calories than you're burning? And if that's the case, it doesn't really matter the frequency with which that happens. Do you okay. eat two meals a day? Do you eat four meals a day? I think the, part of the reason why that was believed to be true, breakfast being the most important meal, is if you wait a long period of time, a couple of things can happen. One is your appetite gets larger and you're like starving mm -hmm. so you just kind of binge on food and you right, eat right. way more than you may yes. otherwise have if okay. you had a more modest breakfast or you give yourself permission to eat whatever you want because right. you skipped breakfast okay. now you got all these calories you can spend and you're going to spend it all on things you probably shouldn't be eating to begin mm -hmm. with you just you have the urge to pick those things up right a little bit more than you so it boils down to having more. specific nutrition goals throughout the day that you need to hit enough protein the right amount of calories carbs fats etc and then how you get that throughout your day again is mostly a matter of preference and lifestyle than any specific period of time that you need to get that in